Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to my Let's Play Oblivion Prelude video. In this video, I'm going to be describing what I'm going to do in the Let's Play and what's all going to happen. So, my main focus for the Let's Play is the main story, the Mages Guild, and the DLCs. And of course, I'm going to do some optional quests in there as well. And my character is going to be a high elf mage. I'm using a modded version of Oblivion, so I'm going to tell you the mods I use. First one is the Quarles texture pack, and this redoes Oblivion's texture and makes it look so much better than what it was. It gives it a whole new look. Next one is all natural, which makes weather seem real and lifelike. Next is natural environments. It kind of goes with all natural. This also affects the environment and it adds stuff that wasn't there before like waterfalls and campsites. Next one is the Oblivion Graphics Extender which adds a whole bunch of new graphic controls to the game like motion blur. Next is the Donorfied UI. This gives the game a whole nother user interface which is a lot more smooth and crisp and not clanky and bulky and all that stuff like the old one was. Along with that is a keychain. Keychain makes it so where all those keys are in one spot and you can find them really, really easy and they don't take up too much space. Next is immersive interiors. This actually lets you see outside windows without having just a blank wall where the window is. It's more immersive and it gets you more connected to the game and to your deal. <laughs> My favorite of the mods has to be Midas Magic. This adds tons and tons of spells to the game, and I'm definitely going to be using this in the play. Let's Play. Next is the Droplet Torches mod and the Darker Dungeon the Night mod. These two are two separate mods, but they almost go in unison. With the Darker Dungeon the Night mod, it basically does what it says. It makes Dungeon and, dark and Night darker. So it makes it gives it, it gives it more suspense, so to say. And the droplet torch as well, it lets you drop lighted torches, which will, you can make a path of yourself in a dark dungeon, and you can find your way out and know where you've explored before. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be using alternate start. Instead of being in that boring cell and going through the sewers and stuff, killing goblins and mythic dawn, it'll start you on a boat where you can quickly pick your stuff and get right into the game. Another one is animated window lighting. As you're walking through Cyril at night, you're going to see all these windows light up from the inside, which gives it that, once again, lifelike feel, and it's more immersive. Now on to the weapons and armor. <coughs> all these weapons and armor look extremely, extremely awesome, and they're very well done. The Seraphim Blade is a two-handed sword that does crazy amounts of damage. Next one up is Tyrael's armor. This armor is fairly decent and despite its very expensive cost it is very very useful. Next is the Sword of Lightning. Who doesn't want a Sword of Lightning? It has a one-handed and two-handed versions and does lightning damage and can also be Enchanted more. Next one is the Frostmourne and Lich King's armor. I know everyone that I know that has Oblivion for the PC has this mod. It's such a well done mod, and the armor and the sword are incredibly done. It's a well made mod. Okay, guys, all my mods that I use currently will be in the video description. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and follow my Oblivion Let's Play. And thank you all for watching. See you later.